Hey guys, so this is just going to be a kind of informal video showing you Cyberpunk 2077 running on my primary rig. So I've got CPU Z pulled up here. You can see we are rocking a Xeon X5675. That's an older Westmere chip on LGA 1366. X58 chipset runs at 3.07 gigahertz can turbo up to 3.6 unfortunately this is on a Dell OEM motherboard for the T7500 so uh, I cannot overclock but it's still 6 square 12 threads at up to 3.6 gigahertz so it, uh, it handles most games respectively have 24 gigabytes of DDR3 running in dual channel and an RX 580 8 gigabyte uh, this one is water cooled with a uh, Kraken G12 and a Aztec uh, I forget the model number all in one loop anyway so something I do want to try next couple weeks is to swap this chip out for a 5687 so that's a um, 4 core 8 thread chip same socket but it runs uh, 3.6 and turbos up to 3.9 gigahertz so I'm kind of curious from what I've seen so far kind of watching uh, Task Manager um, Cyberpunk really seems to be um, it really hits 2 and sometimes four cores um, with the brunt of the load but it really doesn't seem to scale heavily past that so I'm kind of curious to see if that would produce different results but anyway let's go ahead and get into the game hopefully afterburner ends up bringing up the frame counter yeah, there we go. Also have my GPU temperature monitor. I have been testing some different overclocks. City. Yesterday's body count so I'll go through my settings real quick. Running 1080p full screen. Got VSync on. Up to 60 FPS or 59, whatever. Have the field of view turned all the way down, have film grain and chromatic aberration off. I'm not entirely sure the film grain actually has that big of a effect on things, but it might. Chromatic aberration definitely does not help things. I have depth of field on, I haven't noticed a huge drop there, and I kind of like the effect in this game. Lens flutters are off, motion blur is off. Contact shadows are off, facial lighting geometry is off. Low setting, and then pretty much everything else except distant shadows is set to medium. Oh, and I have uh, crowd density set to medium. So I don't know if anybody noticed, but um, I really don't like how they have this um, narrated loading screen. It's kind of annoying, actually. Anyway, we're just walking around Night City here and look at our numbers.
So as you can see, it bounces around. Um, it mostly stays in the mid to upper 40s, and occasionally it'll jump up into the 50s, and very rarely it will jump down into the 30s, but... You know, even at 1080p medium settings, this game is its still quite beautiful. Oh, I got hit by a car. And I did get hit by a car. Should really watch where I'm going. Look both ways before crossing the roads, kids. Indoor levels mostly stay in the 50s. Uh, if there's any really kind of crazy lighting, um, I can drop it down a little bit, but they eh, mostly stay in the 50s. some of my car so we can kind of look at that. Oh, hey, look, it's here. Hopefully this game does support hot swapping between uh, keyboard, mouse, and controllers, so I can use an Xbox controller for driving segments if I want to. You don't really see that much of a performance drop with uh, the driving segments. Go see, move it up in the 50s a little bit there. See here with the visor enabled, count what that does. Anyway guys, that's going to about do it for me for now. Um, I'm going to try tweaking a few more things. Uh, I want to swap a fan on the uh, AIO for my GPU and see if I can get the um, core frequency on there a little bit higher. Uh, try to get it above 1500 megahertz. Uh, unfortunately, the 580 that I have does not support overclocking um, to the levels that I have seen on other 580s. I really would like to get uh, borrow a GPU from a friend to kind of test. Uh, I'm curious to see how much of the slowdown in this game is the CPU and how much of it is the 580. 580 is, you know, an older card. I still think it's a really decent card, especially if you're on a budget, but I 
I'm curious to see uh, just how much the 5675 is bottlenecking. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I also want to see if a uh, higher clock speed um, on the 5687 would see any performance improvements. I know that there's a lot of performance being left on the table here with the 5675 because I'm not overclocking it. Um, unfortunately, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Uh, of late, uh, I have seen X58 motherboards. Man, they're they're just being price gouged to unreasonable levels. 100, 130, 140 dollars for a, a decent uh, gaming motherboard. Um, at that point, there's that just kind of completely defeats the entire price advantage of um, of running an X58 system. At that point, um, there are better options that could be pursued at that point. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this answered any questions. If you guys are curious about getting Cyberpunk on an X58 system, it's been a bit of a challenge getting everything working, but that's kind of half the fun with running an older system like this as a daily driver. Uh, Cyberpunk is a wonderful game, and if you have a system that can run it, you should definitely get your hands on it. I highly advise that even if the system doesn't run it, you know, all that well, it's still, man, it's one of the best games that's been made probably in the past 10 years. So, thanks guys. Hope everyone has a great weekend. I'll catch y'all in the next one.